Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Elise of Plan with Elise and today we are doing another weekly cash stuffing budget filling how did last week go kind of video in my planner. So I've been doing this every week for the month of January just to see how it goes and if it makes any difference in my budget. All right, so let's talk about last week first. So my spending last week, um, I did buy some planning items and I explained last week that I just kind of put a dash here at the balance because my planning budget is something that I keep online, um, just like on a spreadsheet. Then my spending, they got a little complicated and that's why I put this box, this box around these because I had, let me open my envelopes here and we can talk about it. This week's finances got a little confusing. So I used all the money I had left in a manicure, but I didn't actually have enough in my manicure fund, but I did have money in my spending fund. So between a manicure and an eyebrow wax, those were combined. I'm probably going to start to put more money in this separately, but I'm, I'm left with $4 in my spending budget. So what I'm going to do is take those $4 out and, oh, this is a ripped dollar. That's okay and add it over to this cash organizer. This is the cash that I pulled out of the bank for this week's paycheck, January 17th. So put that back over here, whoops, upside down. And then I bought sneakers, so I have a clothing budget. So I have $10 left, or $20 left in my clothing. I feel like that's a lie. I feel like I had 50 in there, not 60. I do have 10. That was a mistake. We're just going to make that a one. Okay. Um, again, I bought another planning thing. Left that there. I went out for hibachi with my nephew, and I spent $70, which was my entire amp budget, which means I need to go put more money in that, and that is at zero. And then groceries, I spent 34 and unbalanced is 26 I did a really big grocery haul a few weeks ago. So that's why I only spent $34 today just to get some essentials. So that is where last week's budget went. Let's take this off the discs just because it's so much, it's easier. All right. So now uh, I'm not going to use the stickers like I did last time. I'm just going to use this highlighter just to kind of separate this section. Whoops, that's a little bit darker than I thought it would be. Oh wait, how many do I need? One, two, three, four, five. I need five sections and there's, oh, there are five sections. Oh, but I wanted to relabel them. That's why the highlighter works. All right, whoops, sorry. We are spinning around quite a bit. So now, I'm going to label these and this will be the breakdown of my paycheck. These will be my, this will be my spending. So I'm going to do category. Amount. Balance. Due. And paid. All right, now let's see. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to do this because this is new to me. I don't always do this on camera, so I'm a little confused and I don't want you to be confused. What I'm first going to do is break down my paychecks. So for my rent, that's going to be 353. My car lease, will be 68, um, insurance is also 68, my electric is 30, miscellaneous will be 130, spending 60, food, so groceries, 60, 
Netflix. 14. I heard that's going up, but I haven't gotten the notification that mine has gone up yet. And then gas, 50. I might start to lower my gas budget because I really don't drive much. And even though gas prices have gone up, I haven't gotten gas in a while. And I don't even, it might be like half, my tank's half full at this point. Kindle, 11. My 2022 Roth. Well, now I can just write Roth because my 2021 is finished. Is going to be 100 and savings will be 100. Okay, let's go to bills first and then I'll deal with these envelopes. So if you saw last week's video for my bills, I moved over to a fake cash system. And the purpose of that is to share how I do this without having so much cash in my apartment. So I bought this fake money. Let me just get it into this organizer and make sure that I can see what's going on and you can see what's going on. And some of this is actually gonna come out before we stuff these and update the trackers. Let me know what you've thought of these videos so far because they're new to my channel. And if you've enjoyed the every week in review, um, I'm not sure how I feel about them yet. So it might be possible that they end up being a month in review, seeing where I spent, overspent, etc. All right. So actually I don't need to take those out. Rent, I am adding 353 to this. So one, two, three, 50, three, 50, okay, three. So now my total will be one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty thousand, fifty five, fifty six, fifty seven, fifty eight. What did I say that was? Ten fifty eight, I think. Let's try. Ten fifty nine. Am I off by a dollar? Oh no, there were four here. Okay, fifty nine. So the balance is ten fifty nine. Write that here too. One, one seven. And we are at ten fifty nine, and this is due on two, one. Okay. I also realized. I don't know if you noticed uh, earlier in the video, but the spending tracker from last week. I used. I put twenty twenty one for everything. It's like, oh, I'm still not in that mode yet, where I'm writing twenty twenty two. All right, Honda, we are going to add, wait a second. Oh, we did have two weeks. I was like, what is going on here? So I'm, gonna, I'm out of singles, but I did buy two packs of this paper money because I had a feeling this was going to happen. So I don't need the twos. I don't really know why they include twos in this. Did I say the paper money? I meant the fake money. Honda, we are adding 68, so 50, 60, 5, 66, 67, and 68. Move that over, that, that, that. And now this should be 50, 100, 50. 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200, 1, 2, 3, 4. Should be 204, but let's do the math to make sure. 204, perfect. So let's get this Honda out. 117, has been added, and the balance is 204. These trackers are mine. They're available in my Etsy shop if you are interested. 
I also have everything I'm using linked below in like a section called my budgeting favorites. All right, so what was that balance? 204. And this is due on the 26th. All right, now insurance is going to be exactly the same as Honda because they are the same price this year. So I want 68, so 50, 60, 5, 66, 67, 68. And now this will be 204 also. I usually film these videos after Monday because my paydays are Mondays, but because Monday is Martin Luther King Jr. Day and it's a holiday, um, this is due on 2-1. I meant to write 126 here. Because it's a holiday, my payday went through on Friday. So this is being filmed Sunday afternoon because I'm not leaving my apartment again today. So all of my spending is done. I will not be spending any other money today. Right now to Geico. So Geico was paid uh, over the weekend. So one fifteen was the due date. That was uh, one twenty two minus, and now the balance is zero. So if this was real cash, this money would have been put in the bank before the bill was due. But now it's going to go right back over here because it's not real money. All right. PSENG, which is my electric. I do an about budget just based on what I think it might be. So 117 amount, we're going to put in 30. This is a plus, and now the balance is 30. This is due on to 19. So I've already paid January. So this is actually for February. I'm a little bit ahead on that. Okay. Miscellaneous. I'm going to skip over because that's going to be real cash. Spend food, all going to be real cash. So now I need Netflix. Although I'm realizing I might actually be out of envelopes. Hmm. Which is a problem. Okay, let me figure this problem out. I was able to locate three more envelopes, which was the exact amount that I needed. So we are good there. But I also just realized that I need another tracker. So thankfully these are printables and I can just print them out. And that's one of the things that I love about my trackers. They do come three on a page, so you're not really wasting much paper. And once you purchase them once, it's yours for life. So you can just reprint as many as you need to. I do want to add a note just because of a situation that happened last week. Um, make sure that you're purchasing the right size because with digital downloads, shops never offer refunds because you could just download a file and then ask for a refund. And then I'm out because you've already downloaded the file. So digital items can't typically have them. Um, so, all right, where were we? Netflix. So this, all this cash and these envelopes that I'm talking about today are representative of the money that's in my bank account. So for easy math, let's say that I have $1,000 in my bank account. Looking at these envelopes will tell me what that, how that thousand dollars is broken down. All right, one seventeen amount is fourteen. This is a plus, and this is due. Whoops, I don't need the dollar there. One thirty. Dropping envelopes. I don't know the last time I filmed a video without. <laughs> dropping something. 
All right, so Netflix, the balance is 14, which is the wrong 10. And this is due on 1.30. back to here. And then gas, I'm going to skip over because that's going to be real cash. So now I need Sirius XM, which I'm probably going to cancel after my contract is over. I had a trial when I got my car and then I was able to get a deal for $6 a month after the trial ended. The thing is, $6 isn't a lot, but I'm barely driving. And when I am, I actually am usually on the phone catching up with a relative or something like that or a friend. So that $6 a month will amount to what, $70 a year? $72 a year. $72 a year is almost my renter's insurance. So that's probably not going to be something that I continue once my trial ends. So Sirius, we are at six. I have to double check when this is due. I'm not actually sure. Okay, now I need that other envelope that fell for my Kindle. Wasn't there an extra tracker over here? Sorry, I thought I was <laughs> fully prepared for this video. So let's get this cut out. Kindle, we are at 11. This is something that I probably will continue to use because right now with my eBooks, I'm using a combination of Kindle and library rentals. So 117, amount is 11. This is a plus and the balance is 11. Or like staticky with my hair. All right, so now Kindle can go in here. These you just have to like pop out these little disc things, not disc things, but whatever they are. All right, Kindle is 11. This is due 122. All right, making progress. Um, Geico was removed, PSENG. All right, my retirement. So last week I put the $400 into my retirement. So I'm going to subtract 400 from this. I did that, um, what date was that? January 10th. And the balance is zero. The balance in my in my retirement is not zero, but that's the balance in terms of the contributions because I transfer them once a month. So now I'm going to put $100 into it. And this is the first $100 for my 2022 retirement which is maxed out at $6,000. So that is my goal for this year, as it's been the last couple of years to put $6,000 into it. Okay. 100, and this is not a due. For paid savings, this is all done on in the bank. So we're just gonna do that there. All right. Bills are done. Let's go to the cash section. So I'm going to move this play money and now go to the real money. So it's 50. I have a lot of fives. I always have a ton of fives. All right, first up is, I feel like 
there might be something off here. Let me double check. All right, I figured out what was off. I forgot, I actually always keep my miscellaneous in the bank because most of my miscellaneous spending is done online. So that, I was like, wait, what is going on here? That doesn't seem quite right to me. So food, let me go to my groceries and I'm actually going to empty this envelope and put it into this cash section. So the groceries are going to be 60. So I'm just gonna take three 20s and note this. So 116, we're gonna take out the 26 just to zero this out. You could continue to add to it if you wanted to. So now my balance is 60, but I'm taking it out because as that all adds up, I'm not going to necessarily oh, take the change out too. If I end up having like 10 extra dollars a week, I'll just have a massive grocery budget and really not need it. So groceries right now are 60, no due and no paid. Um, gas. is going to get 50. Plus, and the balance is 50. And of course, when I buy gas, that will be lowered. So gas, we are at 50. There's no due and no paid. All right, now for spending. So there's a couple of reasons that I haven't um, done the spending yet because let's see here. So I took out the four, so I'm going to subtract four. And my balance is now zero. Now, first up, I'm going to grab my 52 week savings challenge that this is week three. So this will be $15. So $15 is now going into that and check that off. And the idea is to save the money before you spend it. So I'm putting it in these envelopes before I spend it. Then I have my weather challenge, which is a Patreon exclusive budget challenge. Um, January 17th, the average temperature is going to be 23 degrees. And I will put 23 dollars into this savings and it's been so much fun to see everyone saving just do this quickly could have probably done this part off camera at least all right so let's take 10 15 20 21 22 and 23. Oh, I also wanted to explain something. So I don't carry these binders with me everywhere because I don't have room in my purse, nor do I really want to carry them all with me. So what I'll do is let's say this was my grocery budget. I just grab this envelope and throw it in my purse when I know that I'm going to the grocery store. And that, um, that helps. All right. So spending. All right, let's see what's left here. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 70, 71, 72, 73. That's way too much money. The reason it's more than my original spend was because I took money out of other envelopes when there was extra and put it back over here. So I'm going to give myself 25, 30, 35, 40. Let's do $40 in my spending for the week. Um, you know what? I actually want to do a little bit more. 25, 30, 35, 40. I'm going to put 10 more dollars. So I have 50. And the reason I was trying to think of what's coming up this week. And um, my mom, my, my sweet mom, I'm so proud of her, is being recognized for 25 years in her school district. And I want to pick up flowers. So... 
that wasn't something that I prepared for in terms of a sinking fund, but it's something I can prepare for in terms of my spending money. All right, now the other two envelopes that are empty after this week are Ant Life and manicure. I'm not going to put money in the manicure this week because I just got one. I know I'm not going to need one this week. So the rest of this is probably going to go into ant life. 5, 10, 11, 12. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So that's not as much as I'd like in there, but it's a start. And this is a rolling sinking fund, so I'll just continue to add to it and to subtract from it. About 23 as time goes on. So my now my balance is 23. So when I do have extra money, maybe from groceries or spending or things like that, that will go into my ant fund. If I'm finding that that's not happening, I'll probably include some of it in my February budget, which I'm still kind of working through. So, all right, spend, this is not a $60 balance. How much was spending? 50. And there is no due and there is no pay. All right, almost finished. Now I'm just pulling out my, did I pay that bill tracker? And the reason that I've marked off January for my health insurance and my rent is because the bill was due in January. So that's, or it was due by January. Um, I have paid my electric and my Geico. So I'm going to cross those two off. I still need to fill in the due date and amount, but this is one of my trackers that I'm just kind of keeping organized. So that is where we are in terms of January week two, week three. But I'm going to note here the, uh, the deposit for my weather challenge because this is my savings challenge. So it was 23. And now the balance is $79. Easy peasy saved before it was spent. Because I think that if you wait until the end of the week and see what money you spent and then save what's left, you might not make that much progress. So this is why I like to save before the week starts. All right, and that is week three of January. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for hanging in there with me while I try to navigate this whole new like way of doing it and evaluating it. And let me know if you'd prefer weekly or monthly videos just while I, while I try to figure out my February content. So thank you so much for watching. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, please do take a moment to like this video and subscribe. Everything that I use today is linked in the description of this video, and I will see you next time.